Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey. I'm here with the Pokemon Spotlight. This time we're going to be featuring Stack Attacka. Now, Stack Attacka is a pretty one-dimensional mod, which is one of the drawbacks of it. I mean, like, basically by that, I'm saying that it's going to be clicking Trick Room, using Gyro Ball, using Stone Edge, maybe Rocky MZ, and then either Earthquake or Super Power, or all out pummeling. So, uh, by that, that means that uh, all of its checks can usually reliably check it, no matter what it does, because it's usually going to be doing the same thing. However, it does have incredible bulk uh, on the physical and special side. Steel typing means that it does resist dragon, which is pretty important in the UU tier considering it could take hits from the likes of Latias instead of Trick Room versus those teams with Crobat, Lotties. Um, it has problems breaking through teams with Swampert or any uh, really bulky water slash ground, Swampert, Suicune, and Paladon. Uh, Stack Attacker really does have trouble. Uh, breaking through those but uh, with beast boost being a sort of moxie every single time it attacks if you run the lonely nature 15 defense IVs uh, that means that it gets the attack raise since its attack is the same as its defense and it goes by the one that comes first so uh, it can be a very potent late game sweeper um, but rock and steel uh, it's weak to some of the most common Pokemon in the tier like Gliscor for example uh, Swampert and the likes and of course fighting types uh, like Cobalion, Mach Punch from Inferne, Vacuum Wave from Lucario, whatnot. Uh, so it has a little bit of trouble getting, you know, actually doing what it wants to do. But it's a solid Pokemon. Uh, nonetheless, if it can actually, if the conditions are right, it can late game sweep. Because its Gyro Ball hits incredibly hard with its low, low, low base speed. A big shout out, by the way, to Levolt24 for the uh, background art. I appreciate it, my man. I'll link this tweet down below if y'all want to use it. I should have actually linked the tweet yesterday. I forgot to. Uh, but yeah, when you're using a team right here, the first one we have has a Trick Room Stack Attacka with um, Trick Room. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's supposed to be Life Orb. Okay. Happy I caught that. All right, so we got Life Orb Uniclus. Um, so basically, Trick Room. It's like pseudo Trick Room because it has a Trick Room Uniclus, Trick Room um, Stack Attacka, and then Trick Room Combine Slowbro. But then just a defensive scissor and then hit pout on, which is actually really nice with stack attacka. Um, it gives it the spadef boost, which allows it to take on Lottie and Monetric even better. And uh, Combine Slowbro is really cool too, because it means we can break through the fat mons like Swampert and whatnot, which stack attacka does not appreciate. So let's go ahead and look for some games. I might be interrupted in the middle of this. This is a, a matchup where stack attack can do something. Oh, no Swampert. That's exactly what I like to see. Beautiful. I'm going to lead Slowbro. Um, as he leads keys, is it dual screens? Do I care if a paladin gets toxic? Not really. But Scissor is the better play because I don't care if this thing gets paralyzed. If he has toxic, that's fine. Um, I'll defog immediately. Uh, the I think my my opponent's way of breaking through me is uh, just pressuring me with the fact that his glide score walls half my team. But Combine Slowbro is so so deadly in this and in fact i'm just gonna start bullet punching uh, ideally this is a light clay variant which is what i thought he was because he let off with it uh but yeah it's, it's okay if he goes arcanine right here um i don't see an item on arcanine i think slow bro pivot into a pout on is the smarter play uh i don't want to go hard to pout on just in case he goes for a wild charge or the solar beaming set and now we'll double out into hippo right here uh, this catches uh klefki upon switching potentially i know gliscor is going to come out but like i said the combine combine stack attack it couldn't really do it so maybe I'll, I'll give him the hazards and uh I'll, I'll give him the hazards and what i'll do is because arcanine is already low after rocks the point of stack attack is damage anyway i'll just start attacking so i'm gonna go stack attack right here and just start attacking he didn't switch out either because i switched out first yeah magnet rise nice Time to start gyro balling everything. That mon took 68%. That is ridiculous. And uh, we'll trick him up right now. It doesn't matter if he switches out at that point. Uh, I'll be able to defog pretty easily versus something like Sylveon. And he gives me the cleft key, which does give me the beast boost. Hold up, stack attack, I might just win right now. Uh, because that's going to go down to Rockium 100%. Uh, okay, not if my opponent opts to protect right there. But let's see how much this actually ends up doing. Considering, yeah, okay, I, I still, <laughs> I, it doesn't matter if you go Arcanine, bro. Look how much this Gyro Ball is going to do, guys. <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm so happy that the first game, Stack Attack of putting in the work, like I expected it to do, um, but first game, Stack Attack of putting in that work, I can knock out Gliscor. I'm pretty sure Earthquake was 100% knock me out, but I'm not, okay, I'm not actually 100% on that. 
If it's Protect, I doubt it could touch my Scizor. I doubt it SD. And we could trick him up later on Sylveon and win. Uh, so, get him my Scizor. We're going to go for Roost first. And he's Fire Fang. Of course he's Fire Fang. Protect Fire Fang. Why wouldn't you, Bree? I don't want to go slow, bro, because I don't want to bring him Electric. I'd rather just spam Psychic. Um, especially because I'm pretty sure this will knock him out. It's Life Orb Psychic. And I didn't want to go for Trick Room because that's a Mon that can go for Protect. Uh, so, Sylveon comes out. Trick him up right here as he goes for Hyper Voice. It's Life Orb. Mm, I'm pretty sure if I Mega Evolve, I can... Uh, that doesn't actually give me any Spadef. But it makes me stronger. I don't want him to be HP Ground, though he could be HP Fire. Nice. And my stack attack, it can trick him up on Manetric in the sand anyway. Uh, and this Scald is doing a good chunk. So, knocks me out, but that should be game. I want to say that's game right now, because I have three turns, and stack attack is in, and it just wins. So, like I said, versus the, the right matchup, it can just straight up win. I don't care if he doubles out to Azelf. That just means Gyro Ball is going to knock out Manetric next turn anyway. Uh, basically, if he went Azelf right there... I'd still be uh, plus one, and I click Gyro Ball, and Manetric has to take a plus one uh, Gyro Ball. So, Stack Attack uh, getting pretty much every kill right there. It would have been able to KO Azov. Just missed out. It didn't get the uh, Glide Score, but I'm really happy that game one, this was a matchup where uh, Stack Attack, like, this is a successful spotlight. Like, I can lose every single game 6 0 from here, but Stack Attack I actually got to show what it could do versus the right matchup. And, that's why also me going for, even if he was Protect, which he actually ended up being some Protect Fire Fang stuff, which is crazy. By the way, I've never seen that type of glass score ever. Pretty cool, though, that it worked out well versus me. Um, otherwise, I would have gotten rid of Spikes and never had to switch out my stack attacker. But uh, I, I, based on the constant of crush damage, that was an offensive glass score anyway. Uh, so Gyro Ball would have O-Code him anyway. I'm pretty sure Gyro Ball would have, like... Destroyed him at, like regardless. Now we have a heat team. Zing actually passed me a really solid stack attack team, but then he passed me this really fun variant. And because the majority of stack attackers that were passed were um, just trick room sets, I wanted to try out this really fun set with Infestation Toxic and Recycle. I thought it'd be pretty cool. Um, does this thing learn Magnet Rise? I feel like it does. It does not learn Magnet Rise. Oh, it does learn Magnet Rise. I was thinking about actually using that in the uh, GBA. Your next time I draft stack attacker, it's being used. I'm telling you that right now. I'm bringing it every single game. I don't care. But we have this cool infestation set. We already did work with the real one, so why not use a cool one? Uh, we have Quiver Dance, Buggy MZ, Venomoth with the Flame War Paracross and a Mega Manetric, uh, as well as uh, a Powdon, and then we have a Choice Specs Starmie. So um, I'm not entirely sure what the idea is to trap with this thing, but I'm sure I'll see it. When I, when I see it, I'll know what it is. But maybe like something like Klefki, for example. That way I can... Because it can't do anything to me. It might try to Magnet Rise. Uh, back Infestation, Recycle, Spam, and whatnot. And maybe let uh, Venomoth win. Uh, especially with Tinted Lens. Buggy MZ Tinted Lens, man. There are no switches to that. Plus Heracross, Manetric, and uh, Starmie. Even Venomoth all deal with Gliscor. So... Hmm. I would love to have a Trick Room variant on this one. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. All right, Venomoth has a lot of leeway to sweep, especially because of Tinsel Lens, like I said. I'm going to lead off with Stack Attack. Assuming he wants to lead Bronze, I can use Infestation uh, and hope he's not an Earthquake variant. But if he, even if he is, I think that I'll eat it up. Look at my def I know I'm four times weak to it, but Bronzong is by no means strong. And I think that if I get rid of Bronzong, it's going to make um, Venomoth's job a lot easier. Have fun, dude. I feel like I always play this guy, man. You know what I haven't played in a, in a few episodes? Free Roamer. Stack Attacker versus Kyurem lead. Earth Power is going to destroy me. But I feel like at the same time, he could fear me being Sash. I'm going to go Hippo, though. Uh, you don't Ice Beam here. You go for Sub. That's fine. I got to phase him out because I can't like I can't deal with that mod anyway. I know I take the Ice Beam. Um, and I get him Bronze on, which is really cool. Uh, because that does give me a Stealth Rock. A Stealth Rock. That does give me Stealth Rock. And more importantly, next turn I can actually go for the... Uh, the Slack Off right here. Doesn't matter. I don't mind getting Toxic. I'll get in Stack Attack now. Uh, it really depends on his set, but I'm really hoping he doesn't have Earthquake. Psy Wave. Okay. Alright. You are mine today. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Go ahead and recycle that up. 
<laughs> I love seeing the reactions of people. Hey, side wave me one more time, buddy. This bronzing is mine. Side wave me one more time, my friend. Go ahead and get that fakey berry. Hello! <laughs> I wish I had an attack to hit him. Uh, wanted to use a set that wasn't standard and zing past it. My profile seems to be working. <laughs> so the fact that Bronze is actually this week really helps Venomoth's case out. Ah, nice, nice figgy berry. If you guys didn't know, um, Psywave does 50 to, uh, to 150 damage. Seems very annoying. I agree. Wait, hold up, hold up. You're doing a little bit too much damage there, buddy. Calm down, calm down. It has an attack, but I don't want to go for it. Okay. That Mon has been freed from infestation, unfortunately. I'm going to Toxic right here. He still hasn't seen all my other moves yet. So he doesn't know necessarily what I have. And I think I'll Earthquake. Because uh, I think Tentacruel should come in right now. Yep. <laughs> so I'll be able to 2k him because I'm max Pedef. The Tentacruel cannot knock me out. If he wants to spin, so be it. Uh, yeah. Alright, so good B Tentacruel. That helps out Venom off a lot too. Uh, so Stack Attack are doing his job. And <laughs> I get a Defense Freeze. Well, time to lose. Time to lose. Spec Side Shock is going to do some good damage, though. Beautiful. And now I can bring a hair across. And honestly, knock him off first, I think. Because uh, Toa Kiss should come in. Assuming your scarf. Leftovers. Okay. Oh, he's about to predict the stack attacker, isn't he? On facade. Yep, I knew you predict the stack attacker. I knew it. Okay, knock him out. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, I knew he'd predict that stack attacker, man. That's insane. And I can go stack that stack attacker and put in some work right here. Can you hit? I'm four times two. Ooh, stack attack and put it in that work. Let's go. That boy ate. He has eaten. We are eating out here. <laughs> oh, stack attack. All right, we'll we'll get the spadef because that way actually stack attack can do something later. But I want to have the sand. Um, to break through the superior uh, because that means that I can now just go out to Manetric and Manetric kind of just messes with my opponent's team I can't believe two for two with stack attack like I don't even care if we lose like I said I'm just happy it put in work I am so happy it put in work right here like I am ecstatic that stack attack I actually put in some beautiful beautiful work to confirm that that scarf I think you Dark Pulse or you turn it into Serp. Yep. I didn't want to bring a Stack Attacker. That's okay if you sub. Doesn't really make a difference. I don't think HP Fire knocks me out either. Um, if I actually close combat here because it eats his entire thing. Yep. So we get rid of Superior. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not bad, yo. Stack Attacker put in the work. Even threatening is a plan. And then you can bring in the Hydreigon. Go for whatever you want. Dark Pose, which my stack attacker will eat because I am max Pedef. Yum. There we go. Max Pedef stack attacker putting in that work. Not bad. I gotta go for the Toxic too. Max Pedef. <laughs> oh man, this is fire, dude. I mean, if I get flinch, I lose, but... Come on, stack attacker, pull through, bro. There we go, stack attacker! <laughs> I'm 
I'm so happy. This has to be my favorite showcase so far. And it's not even getting flinched. That's incredible. Hmm. Uh, no, 25. Uh, I'm trying to think what's the correct play course of action here. Venom off. I think I think my next, I, can, I can come back in and get my um, spadef boost, and I can just quiver dance up right here. If he wants to save it, because I have the uh... nice. I have the buggy him, which literally gets me a KO right now. I think almost he gets the first turn awake, But I get to bring a Manetric and click Thunderbolt now. And the thing is, if he goes Hydreigon, um, I'm pretty sure Rocks put my stack attack in range of the Figgy Berry. So I don't lose. I think. It sucks he got the first turn awake right there. Um, but... Get the Figgy, get the Figgy, get the Figgy. Hey! No, he got the crit immediately. I mean, that's okay too, because I just recycle off right here. That could be Heal Bell, I suppose. Heal Bell Nasty Plot? Don't be. This boy eats. I know for a fact Monetric eats. There's no way I died a plus two air slash. Yeah, I win. I win because of Stack Attacker. I win because of Stack Attacker. <laughs> Dude. Best showcase so far, I guess best spotlight so far. Oh man, I can't believe, I gotta tell them. <laughs> uh, thank you bro. <laughs> I, I really can't believe the amount of work it put in dude. Oh, I got flinched there. Okay, he can still he can still win. I have my figgy berry though, so I have multiple opportunities. Just gotta go for infestation and we win. Game yeah, man. Thank you. Don't get flinched, Stack Attacker. I mean obviously that's your Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Nah. There we go! <laughs> Stack attacker, put it in work. <laughs> Yo, oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy right now, man. Dude, what's happening? Yo, stack attack is happening. That's what's happening. Please, guys. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Like, you guys know I love Pokemon. I say this all the time whenever something gets me really excited, but you know I love Pokemon. And seeing things like this, two matches in a row, where Trick Room Stack Attack I put in work, and then this Infestation Recycle Berry. Stack Attack I put in so much work too. I am so hyped. Alright, let's use it. Let's get another game. I don't care if I lose the last two games. I, I'm just really happy. We got another Trick Room one. This time it's a little shiny with some Spadef. Scarf Superior, Assault Vest Volcanion, Dragon Dance Altaria uh, with Hippo. And then um, we have the uh, Crobat. But LRJ, 87. Fire. Fire. I'm just so happy it put in some work, guys. I really am. And this guy has another stack attack, a weakish team. All we gotta do is uh, weaken Rhyperior, which is not that hard at all. Um, he also doesn't break through my <laughs> pattern that well. I'm leading Volcanion because it's a salt vest, so it takes a hit from every, like literally everything. And I just get to throw off steam eruptions. Yum. Well, there you go. 100% in range of every attack I go for now. Appreciate that. Getting Altaria right here. Just Mega Evolve and Roost. I'm assuming he's going to bring in Metagross. I don't think you go for another Dark Pulse. That was Specs? Well, I didn't really realize it did that much. Mega Evolve and Roost. So now I guarantee come in on that Hydreigon all the time. And I can go right on to Hippo. And all I got to do is weaken Metagross and Ride on. Right, period, excuse me. Uh, and then Stack Attack can do it. 
my earthquake here. If you're gonna give me the chance to weaken you, ooh, nice lure Metagross. But you have been weakened. Hmm. That was a really nice uh, Metagross play. Crobat helps me with Decidueye, but I'll eat the hit. I wish I had Toxic on this thing, dude. I would totally go for it right now, but I'm mean, gonna U-turn out into my uh, Hippodon. Because I should be able to take an Earthquake and I should be faster. Nice. We could just go right for Slack Off right here. Beautiful. Get up our rocks. Uh, and that's going to really help out versus half his squad. <laughs> I'm going to wear one here too because I don't want to mess Ding on my Crobat switching because I think I might go down a plus two Sucker Punch. So I know I'm playing a little bit aggressively, um, but I'm doing what I got to do. Gyro Ball is looking so good, boys. Yeah, and I'm still outside of range of Manetric's HPI, so I do not mind getting rid of Metagross. Therefore, he does not have that sack anymore. Decidueye comes out. He should go for a Z-move, honestly. I think that's his best play. There's no way you knock me out with Sucker Punch, dude. I feel like weakening him to get in Volcanion is smart, but... How much did Ice Punch do? 28? Let's haunt him. Uh, he's gonna... I think I'd Earthquake here, but if he wants to Ice Punch, that's fine too. Um, I didn't realize how well a paddle was going to take that. But yeah, will you turn now? I should be eating up this attack as long as he doesn't go for Earthquake. He could Earthquake right now, though. Actually, I'll eat Earthquake, too. Yeah, just barely, but I will. A nice Hippo. Okay. Please stay in. Keep letting me weaken your right period, dude. I'll take it. Everything's in literal range of stack attacka. He is really fat. <laughs> um, so kiss comes out. Get him my stack attacka right now. As he goes for air slash and just click gyro ball. He wants to go up here. There's no point in trick room right there because I had stand up to give me this. Oh, that did so much. I didn't even realize it did that much. Whoa. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, Stack Attacker wins now whenever I set it up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're getting Crobat because Crobat's literally here for just for that. Yeah, Stack Attacker just wins. I keep a powder on live because the Sandstorm Spadef boost is going to allow me to set up a Trick Room on any variant of Hydreigon or Manetric. Any variant. Like, there's like, no. Like, there's more than just one. Ooh, nice Shadow Sneak. But Altaria gets to pick up a KO right now. I can't let Altaria sweep though, because I, it actually has the potential. If, it click, if I click Dragon Dance, I probably won right there, but he had the Z move. Um, so I just click Return. No! Stack Attack was gonna win! Why? I should have let him hit me with the Z move. I should have let him hit me with the Z move and then gone Stack Attack and Trick Roomed up. Man! When you have to put yourself in a position to win the way you want to. But basically. I already did what I needed to do. Metagross was already dead, and Rhyperior was chipped. I did get a crit on it, which was really big. I didn't realize how much Gyro Ball did, though. Um, so that guarantee meant that, like, when I set up a trick room, I won right there. I should have Dragon Dance up, man. Second attack, I would have needed the Z move, too. That's the thing. And then Gyro Ball would have killed everything. Oh, well. Man. Good team, though. All right. BB Richie. Let's go ahead and let's show him. Let's see. So, same thing, same standard stack attack that we've been using with the uh, Mega Ampharos. Oh, HP Fire, Dragon Pulse. Uh, we have Calm Mind Stall Breaker. Oh, Calm Mind Runicless in general is a breaker. Then we have Trick Room Porygon, too. As well as Bandit Scizor and the uh, Heal Bell Tokus to support the rest Ampharos. So, um, as well as a Defogger for the team. But yeah, looks fun. Um, ideally, again, another stack attack matchup. A little bit worried if we fight another Manetric. Uh, though I haven't been worried thus far because we've been using good ground types, aka Hippadon. <laughs> I think Hippadon, yep, Hippadon has been on all three teams because it pairs so well with Stack Attacka. You got to realize that um, 
Stack attack and get that spin death boost because it's a rock type. And just being able to take hits from Manetric and whatnot is really cool. Uh, you have a stack attack up, but I don't think I break through your team because you have a slow bro. I like that you have a stack attack, huh? I do. But he has underwear um, Pukamuku, which kind of walls my entire team. I mean, I, I can... Okay, so if we're actually looking at this, I can actually potentially stall him out with Combine Reuniclus and the stack attack up. And the fact that I have Defog and Heal Bow on Tohokus too. I just really don't want to. Yeah, I don't feel like playing this. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have a long, drawn-out game be my final one. Uh, as of the day. Nah, no, forget that. No. I don't want to play a stall match. That that was definitely winnable, by the way. That was 100% winnable. I had a Magic Guard Mon with Calm Mind. Um, I had a Rest Ampharos. I had a Recover Porygon. I had Heal Bell on Togekiss. I had the tools. Uh, that was definitely winnable if I played it right and he didn't play it that well. And that's the honest truth, though. Like, he could... Uh, wish Killer at the start of your video and describing what seems... Yes. Thank you, man. I, uh, but yeah, uh, nah, nah, we're not, oh god, we got rain. <laughs> oh, this is kind of the opposite of what I want, huh? I mean, everything's fast in Stack Attacker, that's cool. Alright, and for us, I'm gonna need you to do a little bit of work right here. Uh, water resist, non-existent, but thankfully Porygon can trick room on them. Which is really good. Um, like yeah, Porygon being able to hey, have fun. Porygon being able to trick room is really nice. Uh, at least once on Kabut, uh, at least once on this. And Kabutops is just a giant threat in general. <laughs> I got a weak in the side until, which is why I'm leading off. Um, I need to lead off with uh, Ampharos because I, I have to weaken the uh, side until. I don't know though. Uh, how much does this do? Because I'm thinking it's Rain Dance Toad as well. Just leads off with the keys. I defog pretty easily versus him, so I'm just going to Thunderbolt. I'll Thunderbolt in regular form just because he could have play rough. Yeah, I don't want him to be able to play rough me, so I'll Thunderbolt in regular form. Beat at least one of his, uh, beat at least one of his rain setters. I feel like because this guy knows me, and if my food comes in time, he might actually uh, allow me to. Um... Interesting that you went hard scissor there. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So I get a beautiful hit off on Sizem Sword and Scissors Weekend too. Gyro Ball is looking better, guys. There's definitely there's definitely some potential with Gyro Ball. I also don't think Earth Power from a Life Orb Sizem Toad actually knocks out Ampharos just because it's a, a fat mon and I have Spadef investment and HP. There is no way I go down. I'm Fabio. Yeah, all right. So Sizem Toad is gone. All right, guys. Gyro Ball, we have potential with Stack Attacka in this. We definitely have potential with Stack Attacka. Klefki's weakened. Kingdra comes out. You can click Surf. That is completely fine by me. I'll trick room up, throw off a nice little try attack, get some damage off on you, and then recover off as the rain ends in two turns. I don't have HP fire, but yeah, that's completely fine by me. Uh, also getting a damage, like getting one hit off on Kingdra right here if he gives it to me is really nice for my stack attacker for Gyro Ball in the back. And uh, now we click Cotton to Crush and literally claim a kill. And we have two more turns of Trick Room left, so which is beautiful. So I click Cotton to Crush, I claim a kill. Um, it's not over because Kingdra can actually 6 on me, but... <laughs> uh, it, doesn't ma it didn't matter that he went Klefki right here, because like I said, I get my Beast Boost, and again, I claim kills versus whatever he has. This is plus one Gyro Ball now. This is essentially a Choice Band Gyro Ball. Pretty sure you're gonna die right here. Pretty sure this is gonna die to Gyro Ball. He might double out into Tornado. Is it gonna die to Gyro Ball? Okay, I'm gonna believe in Stack Attack, but I'm actually gonna Calc it too. 
Sack attack I owe you offensive trick room. Plus one. Scizor. Let's assume it's choice ban. 72. Let's assume max HP. 59. Oh hell yeah, you're dying. He might double out into Tornadus uh, on the expected... No, what the hell. You go Kabutops, if anything. Just bullet punches. I could have reset up Trick Room there. No! So, we get another KO. I'm um, still not out of the park yet because... Out of the park, right? <laughs> We're still not in a position to win just yet. Um, while Stack Attack is claiming the KOs that I needed for it to, you know, actually potentially win. Ideally, Tornadus can't touch me. If it's Rain Dance, Defog, Hurricane, U-Turn, it can't actually touch me. So if he goes Tornadus, I don't think I'm going to actually knock him out. I'm going to go for Earthquake to, rate, uh, to waste a turn of Trick Room. And attempt to get up Trick Room again. Uh, I think that's my way of winning. And I don't see another way. Uh, but I'm actually going to pause it real quick, guys. We'll be right back because i got to go get the, the, the food. So be right back, guys. So first off, I want to give a big shout out to my opponent because he was incredibly nice. I said, hey, I'll be right back. My food just came and I, I took like a minute and a half, but he is super nice. Uh, secondly, I did exactly what I said. So if he has Focus Blast, um, it could be over. But otherwise, I'm going to click Trick Room right here. I click Earthquake, expecting his Rain Dance. And um, again, he should have Focus Blast, but otherwise Hurricane, I four times resist. So that's not going to do crap. Um... And I'm, look at it, that was a crit, guys. And I'm also out of range, I believe, of Kabutops' Aqua Jet. Maybe, maybe not with the crit, but let's see if uh, let's see if Stack Attack is gonna, uh, Stack Attack can do it. I do have enough Trick Room turns as well to potentially win, regardless of what he does, uh, because of the Mons I have left, and because of how high HP they are, aka Toe Kiss and stuff. Uh, so Gyro Ball claims me a kill here, no matter what he does. Nice. So the Prankster Rainer is gone. I don't know if. Kabutops even has Aqua Jet, and if it, if it does, if it even KOs me. Stack attack him, man. <laughs> that man does not care. Yeah, that Gyro Ball did not matter either. Yo, this mom put in so much work. Good game, man. And I could just Gyro Ball the Kingdra and win. Woo! I'm so happy that this Pokemon put in so much work the entire live. I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, this is the first time that I've... Not, not that I've used Stack Attack in UU, I have when it dropped down in UU, but this is the first time that Stack Attack has actually put in so much work consistently. So I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. A uh, big shout out to my opponent as well for being such a nice guy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.